Dumelang, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 66th session of the Commission on the Status of Women, CSW 66. The session will take place from the 14th to the 25th of March, 2022, at UN headquarters in New York. CSW was the first intergovernmental meeting at UN headquarters to be impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. We had all hoped to see the full CSW community of government delegations, civil society, and other stakeholders from across the world gathered in New York this year. Sadly, the pandemic continues to impose limitations on the conduct of intergovernmental meetings at the United Nations headquarters. The CSW Bureau, which I have the honor to chair, has strived to have as full and normal a session as possible. After two years of mostly virtual meetings, this year we will have a hybrid session with in-person formal meetings for the opening and the closing meetings, the general discussion and ministerial roundtables. The interactive dialogues on the review theme and the emerging issue, and the expert panel on the priority theme will take place virtually. Negotiations on the agreed conclusion will take place in person where possible. We also have a rich program of side events and parallel events organized on virtual platforms by member states, intergovernmental organizations, UN entities, and civil society organizations. These events will offer a space for multi-stakeholder engagement and conversation. Dear friends, this year's priority theme, achieving gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls in the context of climate change, environmental and disaster risk reduction policies and programs, highlights two of the most important and cross-cutting issues of our time. As stated in the Secretary General's report, gender inequality coupled with climate and environment crisis is the greatest challenge of the present time. CSW 66 gives us a unique opportunity to come up with strong action-oriented policy recommendations on this urgent theme, especially in light of the recent IPCC report, which the Secretary General called an Atlas of Human Suffering. The Commission will also consider a review theme on women's economic empowerment in the changing world of work to follow up the implementation of the agreed conclusions from 2017. In addition, the Commission will consider one emerging issue, namely harnessing COVID-19 recovery for gender equality and a sustainable future. Let us continue to reaffirm our commitment to achieving gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls everywhere. I look forward to a fruitful and engaging session, both virtual and in person, with an outcome that brings us closer to achieving our common goal of making a concrete difference to the lives of women and girls, wherever they are across the globe. I thank you.